What is going on guys, Maskman here. You know, now that I'm starting to dive into this world of game reviewing, it wouldn't be an official run until I did a top 5 list. Everyone has to do it eventually, and since I'm bored as hell, there's no better time than now to make a list of the top 5 games to play when you are bored. Also, remember this is a personal list, so this doesn't mean your choices would be bad, it just means I think mine are better. Because I am better. Coming in at number 5 is Gary's Mod, but more specifically, Gmod Tower. I know the big craze nowadays is prop hunt, murder, and various things like this, but there was once a time when it had its place on the top. Gmod Tower is a large server where people can hang out, talk, and play various mini games like my favorite mini golf or virus, which I liked simply because I got to play with Cry. Yeah, that Cry. I have put plenty of time into this game, and it would be higher on my list, but nowadays, the servers aren't as popular as they used to be, which makes getting into games much harder. There's still nothing quite like the thrill of besting the others, though. Yeah. Number 4 is Game Dev Tycoon. I didn't get into this game until a few months ago, but I'll be damned if my first time playing this game, I didn't lose about 4 hours of my day. By accident. The premise starts out simple, building a game on various genres and styles, and then going through the stages of development to make a hit game, and learn more about how to make the perfect game. The game starts to get more complex later on as you deal with balancing popular trends, managing a whole crew in a studio, and making game development more complex. I may fail at running even a fake studio behind hit games such as Some Secret Guy and That Bus Driver Guy, but I have a feeling I would still be better than EA. Number 3 is Don't Starve. I've played this game a couple times on my channel, simply because it can become extremely addicting. You start out as a chosen character, trapped in the wild with nothing on you, forcing you to explore the world and gather anything you can to survive. Survival is critical in this game, because you only have one life. One false move can mean the end of your game and all of your work. Contrary to the game's name, starving is the least of your problems. Your sanity is constantly falling, and then there are various creatures around the land that will attack you and more than likely kill you if you can't run. You know the story of the birds and the bees? I don't like birds or bees. Number 2 is FTL Faster Than Light. This is yet another game I have played multiple times on my channel. You take control of a ship and its crew inside, journeying across space to warn of the rebel fleet. One of the reasons this game is well known and even praised is the fact of how difficult it can be to complete. Like Don't Starve, you only have one life for your ship, and if it gets destroyed, it's game over. It can be difficult to even reach the final boss of the game, which I don't have footage for because I've only ever reached it once. On easy. And still lost. That could just be because I suck at video games, but don't take my word for it. It also recently got a huge expansion update adding in countless things, all while being completely free. EA and Activision, you might want to take notes on this one. Coming in at number one is Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Why yes, I do have a thing for Tycoon and simulation style games. Honestly, I would never be able to put into words what this game means to me. Ever since Michael got me a copy of the first game for Christmas one year, I have been hooked to the series and put literally hundreds of hours into the series, having beaten just about every game's maps and creating various sandbox parks. The game at its core is fairly simple. You take ownership of a park or plot of land, and you build various rides and buildings to make the greatest park on Earth, and achieve all your goals to become a tycoon. The game is open enough to allow you to make an obscene ride like, I hope you want to lose your balls. Yeah, people got on this and liked it. So Disney, if you're looking for a man to design your next park, look no further. What is going on guys? Maskman here, and thank you for watching my first top 5 list video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button, also click down and hit that subscribe button as well while you're down there. Just, just go ahead and do it. And there's a Lantation here as well, you click it and you do it as well. So you need to click that button. Just, just do it. Do, do it. Do it!